So it's been quite the uh, journey to get a fight. And uh, I, I don't even know if we'll have a fight yet, right? I guess we could keep your fingers crossed at this point. But I mean, what, what is this time been like? We're just rescheduling and changes and, and all this for the past couple of months. Man, it's been crazy. Um, I've just been trying to fight. I flew all the way from Guam and I need to fight, man. Um, I could have easily took my little money and went home and said no. But, you know, I got goals. I'm here to fight. And the goal is to get a fight and go home. And that's always the goal. Um, I'm here to be the best guy in the division. I'm not just here to join the party and then go home and say I hit the UFC. So I'm here to fight, and I'm still trying to dig for that fight. That's awesome. How how difficult has it been just keep, you know, you're, you're always trying to peak for this one day, right? And that day keeps changing. So how difficult has that process been, just keeping yourself in the proper shape? Yeah, that's been the hardest part, Um, just dialing in. It's been hard. Um, I had about six names this this particular fight, Um, so... It's been a real roller coaster, but um, yeah, man, I got a good team behind me. They tell me to stay focused. My boys are very strong-minded, so am I, and it's all about the strong mind at this point. Um, we believe we have all the tools to fight anyone in the division, so um, at the end of the day, we can't just say that. You know, when it comes to a new opponent, we have to believe that, so that's all I'm doing. I'm believing I have all the tools, and no matter who's in front of me, I believe I can give them a tough fight, and you know... Yeah, the outcome could come anyway, but like I said, I'm here to fight. I, I flew all the way from Guam. I, my family, everyone was here for, for the first time of the fight when I was supposed to fight. They're still here right now, so we want to fight, and the goal is to get a fight, and we're going to get this fight. That's awesome. Do you even bother, like, scouting the names anymore? Like, when they give you a name, do you, do you, do you look them up and see what kind of fighter it is, or are you just like, yeah, just give me somebody? When they gave me this new name, um, I, I didn't really look it up at I was like, man, let's, I just need to fight. Um, yeah, I look up my guys. I see where I need to change my game to all the time. Um, some guys are talented in different areas, so I got to hit them with something different. Um, but for the most part, um, yeah, I have my skill set. I have some tools I've been working on for this fight, and I got to just implement my game plan and go out there and get it done. So you, so you do tweak the game plan a little bit for each opponent, or do, you, or do you just go, well, hell, at of this course, point? Of course. I never fight one opponent the same. Um, if you're fighting every opponent the same, then you're going to get exposed sooner or later. So I never fight one opponent the same. Um, maybe I might break out a, the same skill set because I see he was the same as my last opponent or opponent that I fought in the past. But no, I don't fight any opponent the same. And if they have the same style, maybe I might be able to use that style again that I used to beat him. But no, you don't want to fight anyone the same. How far is the, the trip from Guam? How long does it take to get here? About 22 hours. What's the what's the what's the route that you have to go? Um, I go from Guam to Hawaii, Hawaii to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to here, and then or it can be Guam to Japan, Japan to Los Angeles, which is that fourteen hour flight, and then another hour flight to here. So yeah, it could be quite brutal, man. Um, but when your mind's set up and you train so hard, nothing's gonna beat that. It's awesome. You said you got family with you. How much family's here with you? Um, I got my, my brothers, my coaches, um, I got my cousin coming in. I have so many people coming in. Um, I have my aunties in them here. Hopefully they come back on fight night and I got my brother's kids, my brother's wife, everyone's here right now. So we're looking to enjoy this Saturday night. That's crazy. So they had just kind of had to put their life on hold for a little bit they, too. And their so life has all been on hold. There was more people here before. Some of them got jobs. They got to go back home, but, um. Yeah, they, they're going to try and get back out here as soon as this fight is fully a go. That's awesome. So talk to me about the, the, the goal in the fight, man. I mean, you go out there, obviously, we've, we've seen you do spectacular things. I mean, do you go in with the mindset saying, like, I got to be spectacular, or do you just go in saying, I just, I just got to pick up a win? Um, a win is always good. Uh, of course, I want to be spectacular. Who don't want to be spectacular? But, uh, yeah, man, some of these guys see I got six losses, like, I got five split decision losses. Like, I'm a 19 and one fighter. I fought around the world. I fought in more countries than any of these guys. I fought in seven different countries. I know what it's like to get, to do great and be mad at yourself and the outcome didn't go your way. But I feel like I won all those fights. So, going into these fights, I feel like a 19 and one fighter. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't care if they say, Trevor, you have six losses. I'm 19 and one when I go out there. And yes, I bring that mindset into the fight time. Um, a lot of these guys say Trevor don't have a high output or what. Like, 
these guys aren't pros. I'm a pro. I take my time. When I see the opening, I'm going to capitalize on the opening so they can go out here and do whatever they want. I'm a pro. I take my time, and I'm going to find my opening and chance to get the fight done. That's awesome. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously, you just want to get this fight under your belt and, and get home, I'm sure. But are you thinking about what comes next? I mean, knowing that what you've had to go through for this fight, are you trying to, like, spend some time at home and chill for a bit? Or are you like, hey, let's turn around, do it quick, build the momentum? What's, what's the plan moving forward? Well, I cut weight. This is my third weight. Uh, third weight cut for this month. Like, I've been on weight three times this month. Your ass has been horrible. It's been horrible. I never kept my weight this low in my life. Um, I'm proud of myself for that. But, um, yeah, um, I probably want to come back in the November or December. Of course I want to come back. I want to get three this year. I don't want to stop my goals. Like I saying, this is a goal for me. This is not just someone that want to be in the UFC and be hip, hip, hooray. Like, I'm here for a reason. I'm here to be the champion, and I'm here to be the best.